Korang dah sampai. Welcome back to the show. Kepada penonton baru, selamat datang ke My Mudah Stories bersama saya, Ultimate, dibawakan oleh Mudah.my. Seperti biasa, kita ada dua tetamu yang kita akan kenal dengan lebih rapat dengan berbual dengan diorang. Kita tahu bagaimana diorang bermula dan benda-benda macam tu. Hari ini, kita ada seorang rupawan dan juga seorang penyanyi. Kita ada satu orang lelaki dan satu orang perempuan dan kedua-duanya orang yang bijak bekerja keras untuk mencapai impian mereka dan juga bermotivasi tinggi dan sangat berbakat. So sit back, relax. We got a nice show for you guys today. Korang nak tahu siapa tetamu pertama? Jom kita layan. Hari ini dalam rancangan My Mudah Stories bersama saya Ultimate dibawakan oleh Mudah.my Saya berjaya berjemput seorang ikon Malaysia Kan orang putih kalau kalau nak cerita pasal dia akan panggil dia Wonder Woman okay, Dia pemenang Miss Malaysia World 2007 Dia memenangi Miss Universe Malaysia 2011 Dia juga dikenali sebagai uh, pengasas dengan kawan-kawan dia, Fuji School Satu uh, badan amal, kita akan bercerita tentang Fuji School kejap lagi uh, Dia seorang uh, wakil untuk World Visions Child Rights uh, Dan juga dalam Forbes list of Top Asian Philanthropists Alright, Dia duta kepada kempen Yes I Can Please welcome the wonderful, the beautiful Debra Henry Debra Henry apa khabar, Debra? Apa khabar? Thank you for having me. So, I suka Wonder Woman. Yeah, man. Wonder <laughs> Woman is uh, an icon lah. I mean, she's, she's, she's an icon. And yeah. I'm definitely going to catch Saya so cuba lah sikit. Cuba sikit eh. <laughs> Boleh. Okay, Debra. Kalau kita tengok atau kalau kita ikut Debra punya Instagram kan. Memang selalu tengok Debra pakai baju lain, 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 <laughs> lain kan. So, nak tahu, Debra pernah tak beli barang yang bukan kata orang brand new? Yeah. Ya. Um, di Europe ada banyak kedai. Okay. Di Europe Australia bila saya tinggal di situ ada banyak kedai you boleh right. online offline you can uh, beli baju. Uh. Saya, saya suka beli jewelry. Kita cakap okay. vintage. Okey. Uh, mungkin emas atau like macam biasa. Alright. Uh, so saya cuba beli itu online. Okay. Debra banyak buat kerja amal. Okey, kalau kita berjujurlah kata kita jujur kat sini. Kerja amal ni tak payah buat. You don't have to do it. Hmm. You nak buat, you want to do it. So, kenapa Debra nak buat banyak kerja amal? Sebab kalau antara orang yang buat kerja amal pun, Debra buat lagi banyak daripada orang yang biasa. Ya, yeah, I feel that it's, you know, kita punya dunia, kita ada banyak duit, banyak apa-apa. You know, and semua kita, we're very blessed. But hmm. macam mana ada orang yang boleh mati kerana dia tak ada air untuk minum? Hmm. You know, hmm. macam itu saya tak Betul. boleh accept. Tak boleh accept. Right? So, that's why, we, that's why I wanted to do something. And so, for me, education is is a very important tool yang boleh change everything. Okay. You know, kalau saya kasi you minum atau makanan, okay, so you boleh hidup, mm. you know, saya boleh tolong you. Mm. Tapi, if, if you get an education, if kalau you pergi sekolah, mm. ini yang boleh tukar. Right. Bila ini tukar, then your whole life right. will change and you can change your life mm. and you can change the world. And mm. itu yang so important. Okay. Kenapa dalam banyak-banyak charity, dia boleh pilih education dan dalam banyak-banyak education, especially for refugees? Nine years ago, I met mm-hmm. satu keluarga di Malaysia, dari okay. Somalia. Somalia. And I went to their house, I duduk di lantai, and then we were talking, and dia tak boleh cakap English, of course. Okay. And then, saya tanya lah, tulis you punya nama, tak boleh tulis punya nama. Mm-hmm. And then I was shocked, kenapa mm-hmm. macam mana di KL, di Malaysia, ada kanak-kanak yang macam tak tu. boleh membaca, tak oh. boleh tulis dia punya nama. And ini bukan tiga, empat umur, ini sepuluh tahun. So, I think hari tu when I left, I rasa saya tak boleh just walk away, kasi macam 50 ringgit, walk away. I have to do something. Hmm. And it, and then we started the school. Bila kita start, bila kita bermula sekolah, it's kecil sangat, like 10 kanak-kanak. And then mm-hmm. jadi uh, 50 kanak-kanak. Right. And then hari ini, uh, 130 children. Wow. Yeah. Debra punya perjalanan ni jauh. 
dan macam-macam benda terjadi kan. Apa what do you think has made things easier for you that help your journey? Yeah. Apa yang dipermudahkan yeah. dalam dalam kerjaya dia berang? Yeah. It's never easy. Betul. I think to, even for you it's never macam senang like you tak boleh kerja. Um but I feel when you enjoy something, mm-hmm. when you do something from your heart, mm-hmm. macam sincere. Mm-hmm. When you do something from your heart and you enjoy something then it always feels macam bukan senang tapi it feels it's easier. And kalau you have obstacles yeah. or challenges, you have a support system, you punya kawan, you punya family mm-hmm. boleh tolong and mm-hmm. I always I believe also in karma. Kalau mm. you bought something good for someone, it will mm. come back. So the cycle will come back to help you. Tibalah masanya untuk soalan pantas. Orang butuh cakap rapid fire questions. Ya. Yeah. Sudah so, chill. Soalan-soalan heavy semua kita dah settle, <laughs> kita buat soalan rapid fire, okey. Ah, uh, tabiat orang lain yang Debra tak suka. Bad habits of other people you don't like. Two things. Um okay. I when I watch people eat Like sometimes people eat really badly it like irritates me yeah. so yeah so if you're a bad eater don't sit next to me okay. and then people who like pick their nose in their car but everybody does that oh. <laughs> okay guilty pleasure you do i do guilty. i do i do yes. <laughs> at least you're honest <laughs> i have no shame guilty pleasure chocolate i'm yeah. i'm i cannot resist good chocolate right. okay Lagu kegemaran untuk catwalk. Favorite song. Well, firstly, I'd like to be doing the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Okay. Lady Gaga performing, singing her Million Reasons song. Okay. I think that would be pretty awesome. Tiga pos muka yang Debra kerap guna, selalu guna. Three, my three catwalk poses, yes. photo poses. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Tiga. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Pekerjaan impian Debra selain daripada sekarang. Dream job. So two things that if I wasn't a model and all of this entertainment, two things. The first was a doctor. Okay. And the second was like a rock star. I think it's so cool to be on stage right. getting uh, all your fans to sing your songs, your lyrics and amazing. You know the feeling, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, but not thousands, I'm just hundreds and hundreds. He's being modest. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds. Kita kembali di My Mudah Stories bersama saya Ultimate dibawakan oleh mudah.my Sekarang kita sampai segmen Debra Kita nak tengok apa Debra nak letak dekat store saya Dan mudah.my slash ultimate store Saya rasa mungkin satu benda yang rare dan oh, Tak tahu tak sabar lah Debra What do you have for us Debra? Well, it's this very special gift in a shiny black box oh, okay. um, Here's a flyer It's a it's a beautiful leather strap bracelet like a cuff you wear on your wrist and it's got a diamond. And I got this from an event I went to a few years ago but I've never used it. So it's brand new guys and it's really beautiful I think. You have three straps, a gold, a pink and then a bronze strap and a pretty diamond. Wow. Okay, Debra. Yeah. Kalau really kita beautiful. nak jual ni, kita nak we want to sell it. Uh, kena ada harga, it has to have a price. So what is the price that Debra rasa fair lah? Yeah. What's a fair price? I think 800. I think that's Saya rasa too low. lebih. No, but we want to, you know, this is it's something that I have and I've mm-hmm. not used it. So for me it's something special that I can, you know, whoever buys it, it's a gift to them so and betul. a good price betul. and then the money goes to charity, yeah. right? So Okay. So Debra nak bagi kat charity. Charity mana Debra nak bagi? Kalau dapat, would, jual, kalau dapat jual. Kalau dapat jual. Of course, mesti jual. Mesti jual lah. Lapan atau murah ni. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to give it to Fuji School, so the mm-hmm. money will go to Fuji School mm-hmm. to uh, educate children. Mm-hmm. Um, something very close to my heart, something I'm passionate about. So yeah. Bila barang ni dah dijual, uh, kita akan salurkan wang dia kepada Fuji School uh, untuk kanak-kanak pelarian ni mendapat pendidikan yang orang mm-hmm. patut dapat. Yeah. And, okay, Debra, kita ada uh, cendera hati. We have a token of appreciation for you. Thank you, Mr. Han. Dari pada muda dok mai terima kasih. Thank you. Now it's my turn to go shopping. Your turn. Give it a try. Muda dok mai. Saya akan letak uh, barang Debra Henry ni di Ultimate Store. Muda dok mai slash Ultimate Store dan siapa yang berminat boleh membelinya di sana. Eh, kau kena buat kat sini. Awal sangat ni. Ha, tadi kita dah berbual dengan Debra Henry, seorang yang bukan saja rupawan tapi dermawan juga. 
satu inspirasi untuk kita semua menolong orang yang kurang bernasib baik. Kita akan jumpa tetamu kedua kita kalau nak tahu siapa. Dia ni seorang yang semakin meletup. Mak Saleh cakap he's a rising star. Let's check it out. Tetamu seterusnya, dia ni seorang rising star dalam industri muzik kita. Singlenya katakan telah mendapat lebih daripada 5 juta bukan ribu eh 5 juta views di YouTube. Ah dia beliau disalonkan sebanyak 2 kali atau dalam 2 kategori dalam Anugerah Planet Music 2016. Ah juga Best New Artist 2016 dan dia juga seorang pelakon dalam rancangan Spouse for House, Missing Peace, Isteri Tuan Ihsan dan Awak Kat Mana. Kan, mari kita welcome Let us welcome the talented Haris Baba. Hi. Salam bro. Thank you Hi, very much. Bro. Yes bro. Okay, uh, kita tahu Haris aktif online, social media, jawab uh, komen-komen, peminat hmm. dan sebagainya kan. Nak tahu, pernah tak membeli atau menjual barang-barang online? I pernah beli mm-hmm. but I've not sold anything before online. Hmm, okay, kalau beli barang online, beli apa? Ini kasut, baju, okay. simple stuff. Yeah. Alright. Ada barang-barang yang beli tu uh, semua brand new ke ada yang macam orang cakap pre-love or pre-own? Oh, um, pre-love saya tak pernah beli. Okay. Uh, normally it's brand new stuff. Lah. It's brand new stuff. Yeah. Ada tak macam terasa berminat nak beli macam barang-barang yang, say, uh, yang lebih klasik atau vintage uh, yang pernah orang lain uh, beli sebelum ni ataupun orang lain guna sebelum ni? Um, ada. I've uh-huh. seen a few nice stuff but uh-huh. it's just that tak pernah beli lagi lah. Belum beli lagi lah. It's the first time for everything. Yes. Okey, katakan dalam satu dunia yang ideal. Macam katakan dekat Hollywood kan, you boleh be one or the other. You have to be kena pilih antara muzik dengan berlakon. Hmm. Mana you pilih? I think if you're in Hollywood, I would probably choose acting. Acting ah. Ya. Yeah. Okey, alright. Okey. Ah, uh, Haris seorang dari seberang. Apa perbezaan yang Haris nampak atau alami? sebagai pelakon eh bukan menyanyi pelakon dalam industri hiburan Singapura dan juga di Malaysia. Okey. Surprising because um, saya ni banyak orang tak tahu yang that I'm not Malay at all. So Malay the language Malay is difficult for me. Okay. And okay. even till now my Malay is still not as good. I'm still learning thanks to Malaysia. Hmm. Uh, my first role ever in Malaysia was a lead role dengan Elvira Loy. Right. And back then bila I was shooting that tele movie um, sangat susah because Malay was so difficult for me. Mm. I had to I had to learn the whole script and stuff but mm, um, mm. still I received that offer to do it mm. and I'm so thankful because uh, mm-hmm. thanks to Malaysia Malaysia has given me countless number of offers and opportunities. Right, right. Haris pindah eh. Pindah berpindah dari satu negara negara, negara uh, asal ke negara lain satu walaupun dekat ni sebenarnya. Yeah. Tapi dia satu uh, keputusan yang Uh, mencabar dia satu keputusan yang berisiko lah orang cakap it's a risky decision ya yeah. kan so apa yang memudahkan Haris untuk buat keputusan tu one thing that made it easier for me is the industry in Malaysia okay i have to say uh, because i realized that Malaysia is really so kind and so generous to me mm, mm. banyak sangat offers and opportunities so i decided that I rather be in Malaysia instead of Singapore because yeah. nothing was going on in Singapore for me right. it's very more, sad more lah. the greater so, potential here lah so like Like there's a saying, the grass is greener on the other side. I have to say it's really true for you. It's so okay. true for me, man. He's the uh, exactly. uh, exception to the rule. <laughs> exception to the rule. Ah, uh, and memang discuss tak uh, keputusan ni dengan uh, ibu bapa? I did, actually initially I selalu macam you know up and down, up and down, yep, up yep. and down. Yep. Then I realised that okay, I'm getting like bigger stuff to do here. Hmm. And then um, I realised I have to stay in Malaysia already lah. Okay. Alright, so that's why I decided. Okay, I'm just going to stay here. I have right. a place, yeah, have yeah. a transport. So alhamdulillah, mm. things are going well. So yes, yes. yes. So I'm just going to stay here and not look back. Okay, uh, saya pasti peminat peminat Haris uh, gembira yang Haris dah berada di Malaysia uh, uh, dengan lebih uh, apa dengan lebih kerap more full time in Malaysia kan. Uh, bila pindah tu, what became easier for you when you when you move in terms of your career kejaya? Apa yang dipermudahkan setelah berpindah ke Malaysia? Basically everything dah. I mean like things here are more affordable, you know. Okay. Singapore everything is expensive, right? right. And so basically everything mm. in terms of like a place to stay, you mm. know, mm. transport or food or mm. you know, 
It's just life here is just so much easier and better. Hmm. Selamat kembali ke My Muda Stories bersama saya Ultimate dibawakan oleh muda.my. Kita bersama Haris Baba. Haris, Hi. I got good news for you bro. Alright. Kita punya sesi soal menyoal dah habis. Kita boleh chill, kita boleh main game sekarang. Alright. Okay, game ni is guess the price ataupun teka harga. Okay bro? Alright. Mr. Han. Sounds fun. Oh. Wow. Okay. Kita ada cool. sini satu model kereta. Okay. Kereta bukan sebarang kereta eh. It's the Ferrari 250 GT. 250 GT. Kereta, yeah. Jadi, 30 saat bermula daripada sekarang. Okay, can we, can I? Yeah, boleh. Daikas eh, dia semua besi. Sekarang ni got price tag dulu or something. Uh, dia bukan plastik eh, dia besi. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Okay, go, sorry. I'm not letting you see it. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. It's made in Italy. So, import eh. Import tu penting. Hmm. Import, vintage. Kereta yang rare. How much could this be? Okay, masa dah tamat. Tak boleh, bro. So fast? Ya, yeah, okay. bro. Okay, bro. It's time for you to guess. Cuba teka. 1,000... 10 ringgit. You sure lah? I don't know, man. Okay, saya teka... 500 ringgit. Oh, man. That's a safe price, eh? Ah, so, kita tunggu keputusan Mr. Han. Okay. Envelope dalam tangan saya dan pemenang uh, artis terbaik. Anugerah Planet Music. Tak ada, tak ada. Eh, <laughs> hey, bro. Cuba, bro. Tengok. Alright. Bismillah. Berapa, bro? Come on, bro. Bagi tahu orang berapa. Oh, my God. Ini rata RM50. Yes, sekali lagi. Cuma tinggi, ah, lost man. Okay, Aris, you lost bro. I think kita ambil selfie dengan dengan kereta Ferrari ni. And nanti kita post kat your Instagram. Alright, okay. Alright, thank you. Kita sampai ke segmen Aris akan tunjuk barang yang dia nak jual di store saya. Muda dot my slash ultimate store. So Aris, what yeah. do you have for us, bro? Mm -hmm. So saya ada dua baju kemeja. Okay. Two shirts. Saya pegang, saya pegang satu. Yeah. So what 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 so special about this? <laughs> okay, shirts, so bro? basically uh, this shirts was for my what oh, Dr Zaim for his twenty son. Seru jadi Dina. Hello Dina. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so dua eh kita jual uh, separately. We're gonna sell it separately. Okay. And if you want to sell something, you must have a price. Kena ada harga Haris. Yeah. Berapa satu ni? Okay, so I've decided to sell it for fifty ringgit each. Okay. I think it's a, it's not expensive. It's not expensive. Yeah. It's a good deal, bro. Yeah. It's for yeah. a good cost also. Kalau ada seratus ringgit, boleh sapu both sekali yeah. duduk kan. Uh, okay. Uh, you, what you want to do with the with the money? If, 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 if when we sell it, ada seratus ringgit ni kan. Hmm. Uh, apa Haris nak buat dengan dengan? Basically, just give it to charity. Hmm. Siapa nak beli, boleh beli RM50 satu dan kita akan salurkan hasil jualan ni kepada Bapak Orang. Okay, Haris, yes. you giving us some stuff. Uh, two items, we got to give you some stuff as well. Oh, Mr. Han. Nice. Alright. Wow. <laughs> so, Mr. Han bro. Okay. Thank you so much. Ini daripada mudah dok mai. Small right. token of appreciation. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. We know Haris ni seorang yang uh, sibuk kan dia itu bukan penyanyi dia menyanyi dia berlakon kan a uh, uh, baru jadi suami so banyak benda nak kena nak kena uh, settle kan so thank you so much for spending thank you. some of your time thank you sir thank you for having me on the show okay. thanks for the gift thank you bro hari ini saya berada di Wimsical Publica untuk bertemu dengan seorang penjual online ingat tak kecil kita pasal bagaimana langkah-langkah keselamatan bila nak berjual beli online ini saya mengaturkan perjumpaan di satu satu kafe orang semua nampak orang semua tahu jadi lebih selamat jadi kita nak jumpa Encik Heidi hari ini Encik Heidi seorang penjual yang boleh katakan berpengalaman otai veteran dalam hal-hal berdagang secara online ni jadi kita tunggu dia datang lepas tu kita tanya dia macam mana Okay, first. Yo. Okay, tengok ni. 
Star Wars punya hmm. uh, Millennium Falcon. Alright. Okay, ni memang ikonik. Ikonik. Sebab boleh katakan semua movie setakat ni ada keluar. Alright. Betul. 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 Ini ni favorite uh, space, space spaceship favorite spaceship. saya yeah. is Millennium Falcon. Hmm. Ada lain juga. Kita ada uh, ni pun memang terkenal juga dalam movie Alright. tapi movie yang episod 4 5 6 4 5 6 4 Jadi dah lama kan? Hmm. Boleh katakan dah lama lah kan. Dah lama serius dalam bidang ni. Hmm. Ada nasihat tak untuk orang nak menjual atau membeli barang online? Kita kena serius kalau hmm. jual barang ni. Hmm. Uh, minat minat kena ada. Lepas tu kita maklumat pasal barang tu penting. Gambar, okay. gambar, condition barang tu, apa-apa lagi lah yang perlu orang tahu pasal barang tu. Kira kena jujur lah. Barang ha. tu kalau brand new kita cakap brand new. Brand new, brand new. Kalau dah pakai sekali cakap pakai yeah, sekali. Betul. Jangan cakap condition ha, tu kena pakai. penting lah orang bagi tahu semua. Alright. Okey, okay. right. Encik ID. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Okey, sama-sama. Alright. 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 Lepas ni kamera dah cut, hmm. kita beli nego. Mungkin saya beli oh, kasut. Okey, okay. boleh. Okay. Kita, kita, kita bincang tepi. Jangan jangan libat orang lain semua. Okey, alright. Alright. Okey. Okey. Jumpa lagi. Okey. Jangan lupa ni bro. Oh, okay, dah sampai masa untuk kita sama-sama bersedih buat sementara waktu sebab dah sampai ke akhir rancangan minggu ini. Tapi jangan bersedih lama-lama sebab tu saya cakap sementara sebab minggu depan ada lagi. So, kita layan teaser ni dulu. Apa lagu Jacqueline Victor favourite saya? Ikut yang tak aku. Lepas tu second, tu nombor dua. Sini lah. Diana. So, um, I present to you. Present okay. to me. Okay. Apa ni? This is really creepy. Wait! <laughs> uh, macam okey tak? Yang pastinya minggu depan akan tetap menarik seperti minggu ini. Jadi, kita jumpa lagi minggu depan. Bro dan sis saya semua di hari yang sama. Saluran yang sama, pada waktu yang sama, hanya di My Mudah Stories bersama saya Ultimate, dibawa oleh mudah.my. Peace.